So today we're going to talk about yarn bowls. I'm going to throw a nice little round bowl like this. We'll come back later and cut some holes in it for the yarn. I made a yarn bowl video, I don't know, eight or ten years ago. It's linked below. If you want to have it, check it out that one compared to this one. Let me know which one you like better. I haven't watched it in years, so maybe I should watch it before I say there's a link. But anyway, it'll be there. So I've got this ball of clay centered, as I said before, a hundred times. You don't want to watch me center clay. So I'm just going to open it up like I would any other pot and pull my finger to the palm of my left hand left and right go up together. I'm going to start pulling the walls. And the yarn bowl starts out the same way of making any other bowls. And I've got some, again, links below on, on how to make bowls. I make some tall bowls and shallow bowls. I don't know, little bowls and big bowls and bowl bowls. So I'm just going to make a roundy bowl and I'm going to let keep this um, top in. I don't want it to go out like a bowl because I just think that the rounder form holds the ball of yarn in better. I'm not a knitter. You can tell them, you can let me know in the comments below if you're a knitter and the rounder form is better than the open. I'd like to know actually. <laughs> okay so I'm going to open this up and my fingers are just working straight across from each other. They're just kind of dancing together. And then I'm going to give it, I like that little definition thing at the top. It just kind of comes up and says I'm done. I like it when a pot comes up and says I'm done. There's a finished top on it, not just kind of a wishy-washy run out of clay top. So I'm just going to give that some definition. It's going to say I'm done. I'm going to round it off a bit. You can use the stick if you like to go in there. I like to use this big rib. I do have a short on how to make your own rib. Again, check it out below. <laughs> so you can learn how all the measurements how to make your own rib. So there's the start of your yarn bowl. It's a little bit different than this guy. That's okay. We'll come back tomorrow, we'll cut the fancy foot on the bottom, we'll put the holes in it, and I'll show you when they're dry how to tidy it up. So anyway, we'll stop here and I'll see you tomorrow. I threw the yarn bowl yesterday and I'm back today and I'm going to tidy it up and make it look like a yarn bowl. I'm going to trim the bottom and just put a nice little foot on there. I like to have the bottom look just as tidy as the top. That tells me that how thick it is. I don't want to go any thinner. Okay, now we are trimmed. I like to trim the whole pot. When you're trimming, you know, it opens up the clay and I just like to run the sponge over it. It brings all the small particles to the surface and you can't tell where your trimming ended and your throwing started. So I'm going to put back on the board that I used to throw it and I'm going to get it wet. And I like to, when I take a pot off the wheel, put it on a piece of paper. Sometimes when you wet the board this way, your pot will stick to the board again, or to the bat, and then you have to cut it off, and that's kind of a, a waste of trimming. So I'll put it back on there, and we'll turn it upside down. And I like to keep my uh, holes at 3 and 9 o'clock. And if I could ever find the ones under here, then I know at 3 at 9 o'clock and then you can just listen to it separate. So I'm going to tidy this up. Whoa! <laughs> doesn't have to be exactly centered. I'm just going to tidy the rim. It's like centered. And I like to run a chamois over it just to make sure because you put it upside down on the board it does wreck that edge. Now I've said before, when I'm working, I like to work at the table. 
But this is a two minute uh, yarn bowl cut and so Jim and the cameras and the action is here. So I've said the action is here. Now you want to trim, we're going to make this slot and the three holes. I put the three holes there because I think they look cool. Uh, I'm going to say I'm going to cut the slot. Normally I would let this firm up a little bit more, but as I said, Jim's here, the cameras are here, the action's here. <laughs> We're just going to go ahead and cut it. So I'm going to just put a hole. Now you want to make sure when you put your hole and make your slit for the yarn to go in, you don't make it too big. Ask me how I know. <laughs> So this is a much shallower, I don't know, slot for yarn. And this long one just does not stand up in the glaze fire. So I got to just cut a hole here, close to the top. And then with your knife, you can just cut a little bit and join to the hole and a little bit over here. Notice it's not a really deep slot and now I'm just going to put those three holes in there because I think they look kind of cool. I'm not sure that the well looking nice is doing something so that's now I'm not going to try to sponge this and I'm just going to put it over here so we're now we're going to imagine that this one's dry. This is one I made a few days ago and I don't try to smooth that off when it's wet. It just seems like you smooth it off and you put it in the hole and it just makes, it just takes a long time of smoothing and messing. I just like to sand them off. I find it's a lot faster. You can sand the inside. Be careful, this is fragile. You can break them off. Ask me how I know. Anyway, so I'm just going to, I'm not going to take a lot of time, so you sand this off till it's tidy. And I'll show you one little trick on getting that round is you roll up your sandpaper and just get that round. Anyway, so take your time, sand it off, and when it's done, just take your sponge and again wipe all that sand off and seal your clay. And that's a lot faster. Some people use a drill on them when they're leather hard. I just cut them all at once and then line them up and sand them and then I'm done. So I would, now this is dry. I like to sign a pot when it's dry. It gives me a time to go over and go, oh, there's a messy bit. And just give me a minute to check to make sure it is ready for prime time. And then I would sponge it and get it wet. I'd sign it and I sign it Clark because my name's Clark. <laughs> and I put the little three mountains on there and I'm not sure why but I have for years. Anyway, so, so there we are. We're, 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 we're cut, we're smoothed, we're signed, we're sponged and it's ready for the kiln. If you like watching me make the yarn bowl, please hit the like button. If you want to see me make some more things, uh, please hit the subscribe. And if you have anything, any comments, anything you'd like to say, I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. And thanks ever so much for watching.